Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try to discuss them with the help of different questions. So before starting up with today's session, for all those who are watching this video for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon for all latest updates and notifications. You can also join our Telegram group. In this very group, we share some free quizzes, the updates for all our latest videos, and you can also post your queries over here. So before moving on to question number one, I would first like to tell up the topic for today's session. So recently, RBI has came up with certain measures uh, which can help better deal with the second wave of this COVID-19 pandemic. So because of the second wave, there are different problems which are coming up. We are facing different health sector issues and other issues as well. So RBI has taken up certain actions to better deal with that. So instead of discussing the question first and then the concept, we'll first cover the concept today and then we'll discuss those questions. So all the questions, all the three to four questions which we discuss in these sessions, in today's session, all those questions will be related to these measures of RBI. So if you visit the RBI website, there are different notifications with different press releases in place. Governor's statement was recently released. So all these things talks about different actions which have been taken up by RBI to deal with the second wave of COVID. So I'll discuss all those measures first and then we'll move back to the questions. So if I talk about the second wave of COVID, it has bring up more new and different kinds of challenges. We are facing different health issues. We are not having enough vaccines, enough oxygen cylinders, enough medicines. So all those, all these things are lacking in supply. So RBI can also contribute to some extent or the other to provide the funding to this sector so that the health services can be given a big boost. Moreover, because of Again, the second wave of COVID, the businesses are suffering, small businesses, individual borrowers or the micro small institutions, your MSME sector, your other small businesses, all of them are suffering. So they need more amount of funding so that they can better deal with the situation. Now, all these things have been addressed by RBI recently. So let us have a look at the measures which RBI has taken to better deal with this second wave of COVID. So the very first thing which uh, RBI has decided is to have the second round of GSAP program. So recently I covered about this GSAP in one of my previous sessions. GSAP was a step which was taken by RBI whereby buying the securities, more liquidities increased in the economy as well as the yield rates are uh, it is aimed to stabilize the yield rates. If your yield rates come and interest rates reduce, then obviously government can borrow at lower rate. And at this time, government needs a lot of funding to meet the public expenditure. So that's the reason why it is moving more and more ahead towards the GSAP program. So one uh, one round has been done and uh, the results were positive. RBI believe that to a certain extent, the, the government security yields have softened and thus there is a need to have a second round. So RBI has announced that the second purchase program will be conducted in the month of May. 35,000 crore worth of uh, government securities will be bought by RBI on 20th May. So this is the first step which RBI is taking to handle the GSEC yields and the uh, liquidity problem of the economy. Now, moving ahead, especially health sector needs a lot of actions. So what has RBI done to provide more better health services? See, it's not that RBI is directly going to provide the health services. It is, uh, it, it's, it is not within RBI's purview, but indirectly RBI can obviously help. So what RBI has decided is to come up with this term liquidity facility. RBI can help by providing the funding to the health sector. 
so it has opened a on tap liquidity window now in one of the sessions i discussed what is this on tap thing okay we discussed about the on tap licensing on tap meant that uh, it is opened uh, so our one can contact rbi throughout the year to get that facility so here rbi has come up with an on tap liquidity window where 50000 worth a 50000 crore worth of loans will be provided by rbi so rbi has opened this liquidity facility where the banks can borrow from rbi for a time period of 3 years so long term uh, borrowing is available at the repo rate and the amount that has been finalized is 50000 crores so 50000 crore tak ka amount finalized kiya gaya hai alag alag banks jo hai wo rbi se funding borrow kar sakte hain and this facility is opened till 31st march 2022 so for this entire year this facility is available now let us see how this facility is going to support the health services now what what will banks do banks will borrow under this program of rbi so banks will have more funding available now banks further lend that money okay so to whom will banks lend that money they will be lending it to the emergency health services so what entities will be covered under this we are have facing problem with respect to vaccines with respect to the oxygen with respect to the uh, hospitals dispensaries so all these sectors will be covered under this so rbi se banks jo hai wo amount borrow karenge and further wo lend karenge in entities ko so which entities come up under this Uh, the different vaccine manufacturers the ones who are importing or supplying the vaccines or other medical devices different hospitals dispensaries pathology labs so this is the need of the r we need to support the sector a lot we need to support the manufacturers the suppliers of the oxygen of the ventilators then we need to uh, support the ones who are importing or supplying the covid related drugs so all these sectors will be provided the funding by the banks which banks will in turn raise from rbis this on tap liquidity facility so this is the first action which rbi has taken which is going to help economy a lot now it's not just that rbi is providing this liquidity facility in fact rbi has categorized this funding as a priority sector lending fund so uh, priority sector lending ki classification mein isko bhi include kar diya gaya hai banks are being in incentivized to deliver the credit to these entities by putting this lending under the priority sector lending classification सो so, ये जो फंडिंग आप प्रोवाइड करोगे इसको 31 मार्च 2020 तक 2022 तक प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर में रख दिया गया है नाउ व्हाट कैन बैंक्स डू बैंक्स कैन बोरो द अमाउंट एंड दे कैन डायरेक्टली लेंड इट टू द बोरोअर्स एंड हु आर द बोरोअर्स दीस एंटिटीज व्हिच आई जस्ट डिस्कस्ड सो बैंक्स डायरेक्टली इन एंटिटीज को प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं फंडिंग या फिर बैंक्स जो हैं दे कैन आल्सो प्रोवाइड दिस फंडिंग टू डिफरेंट फाइनेंशियल एंटिटीज हु विल फर्दर सप्लाई द funding to these entities so ye option available here with the banks so this is the very first step which rbi has taken now let us move ahead further humne health sector ki to baat kar li that how rbi is going to help the health sector now there are also different borrowers like individuals some small businesses who need funding who are in deliberate need of funding because they have faced a lot of uh, losses because of this second wave of covid they are not able to function properly they need funding so what rbi has done if i talk about with respect to the small finance banks we have already covered what are small finance banks so it's a like it's more of a differentiated niche or a narrow lending where the small banks uh, the small finance banks provide for the, this funding further to some small groups of individuals or small businesses okay support them so as a part of the program rbi has decided to come up with the long term repo operations so long term ke liye repo rates pe funding provide ki jayegi to these small finance banks small finance banks are really very helpful they help the individuals the small businesses by providing the credit so the rbi has decided to provide the credit to these small banks taki wo further is credit ko lend kar sake so as a part of this program three year long term repo operations have been decided 10000 crore tak ka amount decide kiya gaya hai which the rbi will provide to the small finance banks so small finance banks 
इस थ्री ईयर फैसिलिटी के अंदर टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ वर्थ तक के लोन्स ले सकते हैं इतना अमाउंट टोटल फाइनलाइज हुआ है बैंक्स विल अप्लाई टू आर बी आई अंडर दिस लॉन्ग टर्म प्रोग्राम सो अप टिल थ्री ईयर्स अमाउंट कैन बी बोरोड एट दी रेपो रेट एंड दिस अमाउंट विच इज बोरोड बाई दी स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक इट विल फर्दर बी यूज टू लैंड टू स्मॉल बिजनेस टू इंडिविजुअल सो पर बोरोवर मैक्सिमम टेन लैख तक का अमाउंट स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक फर्दर लैंड कर सकते हैं This facility has been made available till 31st October 2021. हो सकता है आगे जाके आर बी आई जो है इट कैन इंक्रीज दी टाइम लाइन बट फॉर नाउ दीज टाइम फ्रेम्स है आर बी आई विल प्रोवाइड टू द स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक एंड दी स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक फिर फर्दर लैंड इट टू डिफरेंट स्मॉल बिजनेसेस टू दी माइक्रो एंड अदर स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज स्पेशली टू दी अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर सो जो भी अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर है विच इज फेसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ये स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक उन्हें लैंड करेंगे एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दीज आर दी निश बैंक और दी नैरो बैंक विच आर फोकसिंग ऑन सम पर्टिकुलर सेक्टर ओके वट आर दीज दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ योर नैरो बैंकिंग डिफ्रेंशिएटेड बैंकिंग वेयर सम पर्टिकुलर सेक्टर इज फोकस सो दीज आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन दी स्मॉल बिजनेस ऑन दी माइक्रो स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज ऑन इंडिविजुअल ऑन दी अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर उनको बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत है फंडिंग की सो आर बी आई से ये बैंक बोरो करके उन्हें ये फंडिंग दे सकते हैं दिस इज दी फैसिलिटी नाउ इट्स नॉट जस्ट जैट आर बी आई इज प्रोवाइडिंग दिस फैसिलिटी बट आर बी आई इज पुटिंग दिस अंडर दी प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर एज वेल सो लेंडिंग बाई दी स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक जो स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक पैसा लेके फर्दर लेंड करेंगे That has been put on the priority sector. ये हमारी need of the hour है इसलिए इसे priority sector lending के अंडर classify कर दिया गया है So till now this was not classified under the priority sector category. But now RBI has permitted that this fresh lending which the small finance banks are providing to the micro finance institutions, जो आपके ये छोटे मोटे जो भी small industries हैं उनको funding provide करने में helpful होते हैं तो इस funding को इस lending को priority sector lending 31st March 2022 ट्वेंटी टू तक इस कैटेगरी में रख दिया गया है सो दिस इज दी सेकेंड मेजर स्टेप विच हैज बीन टेकन बाय आर बी आई फर्स्ट वॉज दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दी हेल्थ सेक्टर सेकेंड इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू हेल्पिंग दी स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज नाउ लेट एस मूव अड विद दी फर्दर स्टेप्स विच आर बी आई हैज टेकन द थर्ड स्टेप इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दी एम एस एम ई सेक्टर नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अ रिसेंट स्टेप विच वॉज टेकन बाय आर बी आई सो इन फेब आर बी आई टुक वन स्टेप सी Uh, we all know the concept of cash reserve ratio. कुछ amount of deposits which uh, जो RBI बी जो जो बैंक रिसीव करते हैं बैंक नीड टू कीप दैम इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ कैश रिजर्व सो वी आर आई एम डिपॉजिटिंग मनी विद दैंक यू आर डिपॉजिटिंग एंड मेनी अदर पीपल आर डिपॉजिटिंग नाउ बैंक के नॉट यूज दैट इंटायर अमाउंट टू लैंड ऑब्वियसली दे हैव टू कीप सम कैश रिजर्व सो वॉट आर बी आई डिसाइडेड इन फेबररी दैट सो हम जो भी डिपॉजिट बैंक को दे रहे हैं उसमें से बैंक जो भी मनी यूज कर रहा है एम को लेंड करने के लिए उतना अमाउंट बैंक अपनी नेट डिमांड एंड टाइम लाइबिलिटी से डिडक्ट कर सकता है उतना पोर्शन उन्हें से रिलेटेड उन्हें कैश रिजर्व रखने की जरूरत नहीं है दिस फैसिलिटी वाज अलाउड इन फेबररी ओके एंड इट वाज अवेल इट वाज अलाउड दिस एग्जामेशन वॉज गिवन टिल फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर बट नाउ आर बीज डिसाइडेड टू एक्सटेंड इट टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर so it is going to help the banks it is going to provide an incentive to the banks that they lend more and more to the msme sector so this is again another major step which has been taken by rbi now let us move ahead to the next step this is the resolution framework 2.0 for the covid related stressed assets so we all know the concept of stressed assets the concept related to your nps See, banks are facing a lot of problem. Banks have provided a lot of funding to the individuals, to the small businesses, to the MSMEs, and more and more of this lending is becoming NPAs, or it is moving ahead in towards NPAs. अगर situation handle नहीं की गई तो वो NPA में convert हो जाएगा. So RBI has decided a resolution framework two for dealing with these stressed assets. So let us look at that resolution framework as well. So the first thing which RBI has decided under this framework is with respect to the borrowers who have not availed the restructuring facility. 
we did discussed a bit about this restructuring facility in the msme restructuring scheme session okay so previously also rbi allowed restructuring for the banks that whatever loans they have given not to classify them as uh, npas for certain time period so there might be some banks who have aware that facility okay with respect to certain borrowers so jin borrowers ne already restructuring facility first to available thi uske under benefit liya hai with respect to them a provision has been provided so let us look at it the borrowers that is your individuals your small businesses your msmes who are having aggregate exposure up till 25 crores and who have not availed the restructuring facility earlier but are classified as standard as on 31st march they shall be considered for this resolution framework 2.0 jinhone pehle wala jo restructuring facility available thi us restructuring facility ko use nahi kiya hai aur jo borrowing ka amount hai wo 25 crores x se zyada exceed nahi kar raha hai more over वो जो भी लोन्स थे वो 31 मार्च तक स्टैंडर्ड थे स्टैंडर्ड थे मींस दे हैव नॉट येट बीन कन्वर्टेड इनटू एनपीएस दोस बोरोवर्स कैन अवेयर दिस फैसिलिटी सो व्हाट विल बी देयर इन दिस फैसिलिटी इट्स अ रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग फैसिलिटी सो ऑब्वियसली दे विल अलाउ सम मोरटोरियम पीरियड सम टाइम डिले इन पेइंग बैक द इंटरेस्ट इन पेइंग बैक द प्रिंसिपल लोन अमाउंट मे बी दे विल रीस्ट्रक्चर द इंटरेस्ट रेट्स व्हिच यू नीड टू रीपे or maybe the time frame within which you can repay so this restructuring facility is available only for those borrowers first who's who's borrowing doesn't exceed 25000 crores second who were in the standard category as on 31st march and third who have not availed the resolution one framework which was available okay for them this restructuring 2.0 facility is available till september 2021 so this is the first thing under this 2.0 framework now i talked about those borrowers who have not availed the restructuring facility what about those who have already availed restructuring facility so aise bhi individual borrowers ya small businesses honge jinhone resolution framework 1 ke under restructuring ke liye apply kiya tha okay so unko ए दो साल से कम का मोरिटोरियम अलाउ कर दिया गया था दैट यू कैन डिले और इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स ओके सो लेस देन टू इयर्स तक का टाइम उन्हें दिया गया था नाउ एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन फ्रेमवर्क टू व्हाट आरबीआई हैज डिसाइडेड इट हैज डिसाइडेड टू मॉडिफाई दैट विंडो सो सम एक्सटेंशन इन दैट पीरियड इज अलाउड मोरिटोरियम पीरियड कैन फर्दर नाउ बी एक्सटेंडेड लेकिन दो साल से ज्यादा वो टाइम एक्सटेंड नहीं होना चाहिए सो सम मोर पीरियड मोर देन the previously set amount but less than 2 years tak ka 2 years is the maximum limit moratorium aap grant kar sakte ho un lenders or un borrowers ko bhi who have not opted for your restructuring under the resolution framework 1 thirdly so this was the second step thirdly there might be some small businesses some msmes who have earlier took different loans for your working capital needs so as a one time measure rbi is deciding again to review that working capital sanction limits jo bhi pehle loans diye gaye the for meeting your working capital needs unko fir se review kiya ja sakta hai you can change the time period within which things can be repaid reassess the cycle the margins etc this is the third step under this framework so these three are the major steps under this framework which rbi has decided so we discussed three important things till now the health services sector with respect to the small finance banks and the msmes and the third is this resolution framework 2.0 other than that some other small steps have also been taken by rbi one is with respect to the provisioning buffer now we have discussed a lot many times under the basel sessions that banks need to maintain some capital some counter cyclical buffer we discussed about that at good times banks should keep the capital in buffer which can help in stress times agar acche samay mein banks ne zyada capital maintain kar li hogi to ab jo ye stressful situation chal rahi hai is time pe banks us amount ko use kar sakte hain so rbi has allowed that the uh, whatever pro, under different provisions or under the counter cyclical buffers whatever buffer of capital has been maintained by banks 
banks can use it now in this situation of covid so 100% of that amount can be used by the banks to deal with the npas banks ke kai loans hain jo npas convert ho rahe hain to banks ko paise ki zarurat hai banks have faced a lot of problems so that provision amount can now be used by banks jitna bhi provision ikhatta hua hai banks ke paas till 31st december 2020 banks can utilize 100% of that amount till 31st march 2022 so this is again a very important step taken by rbi other than that another step which has been taken is with respect to the overdraft facility so state governments also have the accounts with the banks and they can borrow amount which is beyond the amount which they are having in their account okay that is what the overdraft facility is so as of now the overdraft facility was available till 36 days ab rbi ne usko extend kar diya hai that till 50 days uh, overdraft facility will be made available for these state governments so to enable the state governments to better manage their situation this decision has been taken certain relaxations have been permitted so the relaxation is with respect to the time period for which you can take the overdraft facility and this facility is again available till 30th september 2021 so these were some major steps which rbi has taken so a lot of measures have been taken and rbi is keen to take even more uh, uh, steps or even more measures if it will be necessary so rbi ne jo the governor has said that jaise jaise need aayegi rbi is going to fully support the situation of our economy uh, somehow or the other so now let's just discuss the questions based on this the questions are not difficult if you are aware of these provisions or these measures which rbi has taken the questions talk about different details about these steps which rbi has taken if you are not thorough with the details you will not be able to answer but if you are thorough you can easily answer these questions so let us look at the questions the very first question says which of the following statements state the correct criteria for resolution framework 2.0 for covid related stressed assets of individuals of small businesses of msmes who have not availed the restructuring under any earlier restructuring frameworks so under first point i discussed that this thing which i discussed the resolution framework 2.0 related to those who have not availed the facility so ye teen points maine discuss kiye the these are going to help you to answer this question so if i look at the statements the first one says that individuals and small businesses should have aggregate exposure till 30 crore no it was 25000 crores right this was the amount 25 crore uh, i'm sorry i mentioned this 25000 it was 25 crores so up to 25 crores ke jinke loan exceed nahi kar rahe the that was the amount all right so 25 crores tak se zyada exposure nahi exceed karna chahiye this was the first condition so this statement is incorrect second statement says that the borrowers should be classified as standard as on 31st march so this uh, uh, criteria is absolutely correct The third one says individual and MSME who are classified as NPA as on 31st March. No, they should not be classified as NPA. I already mentioned that the borrowers should be under the standard category. So only second statement is correct. Answer is option B. Now let us talk about question number two. So this question says RBI has come up with a term liquidity facility to support the emergency health services. under the scheme banks can provide fresh lending facility or fresh lending support for emergency health services to a wide range of entities that will include your vaccine manufacturers hospitals dispensaries pack labs etc so which of the following options correctly states the amount and the time frame of this facility so if i talk about this uh, step which rbi has taken so rbi has uh, decided on this facility which i just discussed about the emergency health services so with respect to this 50000 crore amount can be borrowed up to 3 years at uh, till 31st march 2022 so answer is option a now let us move ahead to question number 3 so this is the third question it says which of the following steps have been taken up by rbi 
to further support to provide further support to small businesses micro and small industries and other organized sector entities adversely affected during adversely affected during second wave of pandemic so uh, rbi ne kya steps liye hain small industries ko support karne ke liye we discussed them so first step was that it is going to provide a 3 year long term operation of 10000 crores where up till 10 lakh per borrower can be lended so this statement is correct the second statement says that the small finance banks are now permitted to provide the lending to the micro finance institutions as a priority sector lending so this is again correct and the third statement says that rbi has decided to lend 20000 crores it is incorrect because the amount is as mentioned in the first statement 10000 crore so only first and second statement is correct answer is option c now moving on to the last question of the day it says in order to mitigate the pandemic related stress on the banks and as a measure to enable the capital conservation banks are allowed to utilize dash percent of the their provisions or the counter cyclical buffer which was held by them till 31st december 2020 for making specific provisions for your np assets with prior approval of the board such uh, utilization is permitted till 31st march सो so, मैंने अभी डिस्कस किया कि बैंक्स अपना 100% परसेंट प्रोविजन जो है काउंटर साइकिल बफर अमाउंट है दे कैन यूटिलाइज दैट अमाउंट ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन सी दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर टू डेज सेशन इट इज अ रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट वॉट आर स्टेप्स आर वी आई हैज टेकन फॉर dealing with the second wave of covid so please be thorough with this rbi has released a lot of notifications and press releases and governor's statement with respect to these provisions so it's important that you are thorough with them so this was all for today's session i hope you found this session interesting with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much